this lesson, we're going to talk about using the bulk action features in contacts and smart lists. With bulk actions, you can perform one-off actions to selected or all contacts that you've selected in a list. So let's dive in to the screen share and figure out how to do it. So let's look at across the top with the actions against the contacts. We've got a number of different things here like pipeline change, adding to campaign and workflow. So now I'm going to go through each of these one by one. So if we were to select one or more contact records, we're either selecting the page, which is 20 records within this page, because I'm looking at 20 search results in a single page. If I was to look at 50 and update this, when I select all, I'm now seeing 50. All the records that match the current search, which is all, is 124. So if we wanted to say, do something to these first three records in the list, I could add those records to a campaign or workflow. Now at the time of recording this, workflows have predominantly taken over from campaigns, but both campaigns and workflows still can exist in the system if you've got them enabled. So if we click OK and proceed, we might want to add this workflow and then we're able to add everybody at once immediately or we schedule the bulk action to happen at some point in the future or we add those contacts in a drip mode. We give it a name so that when we're looking at the logs, we know which bulk actions were, uh, there was some uh, narrative around what we were doing with those bulk actions at that time. Once you give that action a name, you click on add to campaign or workflow. Now you can also do bulk SMS. So selecting SMS from this list will allow you to send an SMS to those three contacts. It allows you to then type a message out or select a template. Of course, I don't have any templates right now, so I don't see them. I can say hi and use variables like first name. And I can then, again, if I was doing this in some way where I needed to track, then I can put an action name in, do it now, do it at some point in the future, or do them 10 at a time every hour and so forth. The same with email communication. I can send an email to all the contacts that I've got selected. And again, I can choose a matching template, type in the rich HTML text email editor and send them all now at a point in time in the future or in drip mode. You can also then add tags. So this is particularly useful. So if I knew that both John, Brandon and Lauren matched a particular cohort or class classification or categorization, of the contacts that I'm working with, I can then easily add a tag to those contacts right here. This is extremely useful for keeping your contact information organized and on point. Just as you would expect, the ability to add those tags also gives you the ability to remove those tags. You also can send review requests. So if you have Google My Business or Google Business integrated into the system, then these three selected people can automatically get a review request off the bat. You can imagine that this may be someone on the phone, um, some happy customer that you've just heard from, where we can just very easily select who we want to enable the review request for, click SMS review, and then click on the action. Again, that's either all at once immediately, at some point in the future, or in drip mode. We're also able to then export all of the selected contacts. We're able to run an import of those contacts and we're able to merge. Now, you can choose what sort of uniqueness you want with contacts. But if you're doing merging, we're selecting the three contacts that we've got right here. 
it'll fetch the details and say which information across the suspected duplicates would you like to be the master. So if I knew that I had different first names perhaps or different email addresses perhaps, then I would say, okay, well, this is the base record or the master record, and then all of them are subsequent. It'll ask me to confirm this operation by typing confirm in the bottom here, and then it's confirmed. And so that is essentially a dedupe through merging operation. So that is the bulk action operations from the menu bar. When all of those are executed, you get the log of when those uh, operations have been processed with the narrative that you gave it right here. So here's the name that I gave it. Here was the type. Here's the status, the results, who did it, and the statistics. So if we click on view statistics, we see how many records were processed with the bulk action. And then, you know, how many of those successfully were processed by that execution? How many errored out? Great. So that's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one.